Okay, here we go. I'm Dr. Andrea Trombley, and this is a short beginner video for weight training for those of you that might have osteoporosis, osteopenia, or you um, maybe you've had some hip, knee, shoulder issues. We're gonna start with just a gentle march in place. So you can just move your feet back and forth. And what I like to do every time I start teaching, and I know that you're not here where I can check on you, is check your space. Make sure there's no hazard close by that you might trip over. The last thing I want you to do is to inadvertently trip over something while you're trying to do something good for your body. Now we're gonna move those arms forward into a, like a breaststroke as if you're swimming. So you just move those arms forward and keep your feet moving. Now, if your shoulders don't like this, you can do them a little bit lower. Um, but if they're okay going at shoulder level, you can bring them to shoulder level. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit of forward and a little back to this. So just kind of like I'm swimming forward and swimming back. As I start moving my feet, getting my body ready for a little bit of weight training in just a few minutes. From here, we're gonna do something I call a star step. So from here, we're gonna go star and in, and then we'll alternate. So I start with right, and then I switch over to left. And I'm stepping forward and out a little bit, but you could do it just right in place if you don't have very much room. Or you can bring your shoulders down to shoulder level if they don't like going up overhead. Always something to uh, modify. I'm really big into modifying everything for everybody. There is a way to make it work for you. So we'll just do a couple more star steps. And then let's bring this into a side step next. So bring your hands to your hips. We're gonna do a side step. And with that, we're gonna take the hands and we're gonna scissor them in front. So we're gonna scissor our arms in front as we step side to side. So again, the whole purpose of the warm up is to get our joints, our muscles, even our attitude ready for some weightlifting. We're just about done with the warm up. And you can see I have my weights over here on a chair next to me, especially for those of you that already have had maybe some compression fractures or um, know you have osteoporosis, get your weights up off the floor. You don't want to have to go down and bend to get to your weights. So put them at, you know, a little bit elevated level. Okay, next up, biceps curls. So today, we're going to hold a smallish weight. I'm going to grab my three pounders. And the setup for this is soft knees, soft um, shoulders, so the shoulders don't lift up. We're going to keep shoulders soft and you're going to come into almost like a little bounce. That's your beginning position. My pelvis isn't too far forward or too, too far back. I'm in neutral. My hands are here tucked in close to my side and you'll see that my elbow is not completely straight. I have a little bend in my elbow and my fingers are soft. And we're going to alternate right and left. So my back is nice and straight with these, right and left. So I really want to keep my upright position, my upright posture with this. The weights, I'm not really worried about too heavy of weights at this point because I want you working on your form, that stance, your square shoulders, your elbow, your wrist. Let's do two more on each side and keep that wrist in neutral, right? So your wrist is not going to do this. So we're not letting the wrist flop around. One more on each side, right, left, nice. So biceps curls, with that, you're really working that position where we wanna learn how to find that nice neutral stance in order to lift our weights. The second we'll do is we're gonna get that ready position again, and we're gonna work sideways. We're going to get the tops of the shoulders and do a bent elbow fly. Now I'm going to grab those same three pounders that I was just using. 
because I want you working on your form. Once you figure out your form and you get confident, then you start popping. So I, this is like jet pack, right? Shoulders back, fingers soft, and we lift the arms straight out to the side and we bring them in. Soft in the knees, wiggle your toes. Here's two and in, soft with your neck. Here's three and in. Here's four. Exhale as you lift. Five. Six. Let's try to do eight. Seven. And one more. Eight. Great job. All right. Place those over to the side. Do a little shake of your hands. I call this empty coat sleeves. And the key to this is to let that back heel lift as you do this little twist. We don't want the, plant, the feet planted as we twist. We want to have freedom in the hips to twist. All right, we're coming into a little side lunge next. No free weights for this. We'll place the hands up close to the shoulders as if we're holding weights, but we're not going to hold them. We're going to do a little squat down and we're step to the side and then back. So we're going to go side to side here. And you'll notice that I'm upright here. That's why I'm pretending to hold the weights because I don't want to come down here. This is not what I'm doing. I'm upright. So I've got a little curve in my back and I'm stepping side to side. I'm turn so you can see me. My feet are both pointed forward, so I'm not that way. Good. So side to side. Nice job. Feeling that in your thighs, maybe in your glutes. Let's do two more. One more. Nice. And tall. And we can reverse the curve here a little bit with a back arch. Anytime you've spent going forward a little bit, you can reverse that with a little back hollowing here. Let's come to some shoulder rolls. Ready position, bring your shoulders up, back, down, and around. And you can add the knees in here a little bit. Nice. Very good. Next, we're going to do a little stimulation of your bone with either heel drops. So we can um, lift your heels and lower them. Or you can do a little bit of a jump like your jumping rope, if that feels OK for you. That doesn't feel okay. You're going to stick with the heel drops. And then I have one more variation for you. If those don't feel good, then you can do a little stomp. All right, so we're either going to stomp, heel drop, or jump rope. I think I'll do my stomping today. That feels good. <laughs> the idea here is get that little bit of vibration going through all the bones in your lower body right up through your spine. You don't really get too much in the arm bones for this, but we just did arms with our biceps and with our flies. Nice. Stomp it in. <laughs> Good. Let's bring those hands into reverse prayer position. So back of hands to back of hands. This will help stretch out the forearm, which can get tight from either cell phones or laptops. Get the arms ready for maybe eventually trying to do some push-ups or getting into table position down on the floor. We're not getting down on the floor today. And then let's go ahead and release. Hands to your hips. We're going to turn and look over your right shoulder. And breathe. So in through your nose out through your mouth, working that neck range of motion just a little bit. Now that you're warm, let's turn and look to the center and we're going to slowly turn and look to the left and hold in through the nose for a breath, out through the breath, out through the mouth. So once we're worried about bone loss, one thing that starts to get concerning is balance and bring your head back to center. And one thing that affects our balance is that limited neck motion. So we want to make sure we've got some nice neck motion. Let's add the shoulder rolls once again. You can add the knees. Good. 
and then we'll actually work on a little bit of balance here today this is heel to toe walking and what we'll do is stand and you're going to walk a straight line heel to toe as best you can if you do need to hold on to a wall go ahead and hold on to a wall and we're going to walk a little bit forward and then we're going to try to walk a little bit back again safety first if you need a wall to hold on to um, this works really well in hallways where the walls are on either side of you especially if you do have uh, hardwood floors and you can follow like the plank good and as you're working on your front and back balance <laughs> what you um, might be doing today is really staring at your feet so try to lift your gaze and start to feel where your feet are underneath your body <laughs> and that's where this balance comes in trying to trust where your feet are and how you move good come back to center how was that let's do a little bit of a stretch to the front of the thighs we'll do a kick back here this is going to activate the hamstrings at the back of the leg stretch out the quads in the front very nice all right bring your hands together in front of your heart that's all i've got for you today i hope that was fun i hope that was um, maybe a little bit some new maybe not some not so new and um, i will check in with you again soon and have another short routine for you have a great day so if anybody